I want to point out today, I've already been outside and I literally got complimented three times by girls for my shirt. I don't know what that's about, unless <gasps> maybe I'm popular. Nah, I guarantee people just like Captain America. If I was wearing a Spider-Man shirt, people wouldn't even look my way. Sup, people? 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 What's up, people? Say love here, aka the Black Mario Bro. Today, we're gonna talk about hookups. And I am not talking about one night stands. We are not that type of channel. I mean, not now. One day, but not now. <laughs> we're talking about hookups when you got a man on the inside, somebody who owes you a favor. He actually says the words, hey, bro, I got you. That type of hookup. <laughs> Why are we talking about hookups? Because apparently, I got hookups around the town where I live. I just ain't took advantage of them yet. I got some dude who work at Waffle House. I got some chick that work at Panda Express. I got some dude that works for Cox Cable. I even got some dude that work at the bank. I just ain't taking advantage of them. The reason I want to point this out, because in the past, when I have the so-called hookups, it never plays out. When I turned 16, I would look for jobs all over the place, Publix, Walmart, blah, 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 blah. I knew somebody who literally lived in the same apartment complex as me. He worked in a Taco Bell, down the street from my apartment. Yes, Taco Bell, I'm talking about this Taco Bell. Yeah, somebody blew that bathroom up. <laughs> Literally three minute walk from my apartment. He worked at Taco Bell. He said, hey man, I'm gonna put a good word for you to my manager and I'll let you know. I talked to the manager. I literally talked to him at eye contact. It wasn't by phone, it wasn't by email. I shook his hand and he said, hey, I got you. You just gotta go through formalities, go through an interview and you hired. Cool, did all that. Went to the interview, I thought it went great. One of my aunties said, when it comes to interviews, make them laugh. Hey, it's what I do. I make people laugh. Made them laugh. I never got a call back. Never even heard a word from him. But of course, I went up there. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. And if I remember correctly, turns out he got fired. But before he got fired, he never once mentioned me to like anybody else. So it was like, I was a mute point. Either way, I had to hook up at a man on this side. I had verbal confirmation that I had a job. And it was like, for some reason, it just didn't pan through. So yeah, they said they had to hook up. They said they had to hook up for me. A hook up. A motherfucking hook up. And because of that, I don't trust nobody that says they had to hook up for me. Ever. Now, I will say, even though I don't trust people with hookups, there are certain establishments that I go to frequently, and I'm just waiting for a freebie. Not a hookup, but you know, I'm waiting on them to say, hey, you've been coming here a lot. Here's like one on the house. It's like a hookup, but at the same time, it's more like, here's like a favor. Here's like just consideration, you know? Like you've been paying for services for the last couple years. Here's like one on the house. So you know, oh snap, I feel like I got something. Basically if I send somebody else here, you would help them out so I can give them a hookup. Either way, it ain't happened. Basically, I've been going to a barber for the last six years. And honestly, I brought it up one time. One day he charged me $15 and I was like, well dang, I've been coming for five years. I think I'll get a freebie one time. You know what he said? Don't worry man, I got you. Still ain't got a freebie yet. I'm just waiting to sit in that chair Zip, 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 zip. You know, take, you know, flap, flap. You know, take off the thing, you know, flap, flap, whatever that thing is. And after he does that, he's like, bruh, just walk out the door on the house. I'm waiting on that day so I can be like, Mario, that's his name. Mario, that's my boy. Honestly, ironically, his real name is Mario. I like to call myself the Black Mario. That literally, there is no, it, that's just how it happened. Either way, still waiting on my free haircut. Ain't got it. Another place, Chinese place. I order duck from them at least once a month. Every time I call, they take my order, they always ask my number, and right when they ask my number, they know it's me. I'm totally cool with that. They hear my number, they're like, bruh, I got you, 15, 20 minutes, come get it. I got that locked down. Now, in the past, before they truly started charging me an extra $2 for delivery, so I don't wanna do delivery no more. In the past, I would order the food, and one time, I made a mistake and ordered it like two weeks in a row. First time, they deliver it, didn't care. Second time, he gave him a food, and he had the nerve to say, dang. You must really like this food. I don't need that. Give him food, keep going, stop judging me. I'm just saying, the point is, if you notice that I like the food so much, give me a freebie or give me half off. It costs $20 to order it. Just be like, hey, you know what? Here's one, $20, here's one in the house. You can come get it whenever you want, feel good, we got you. If you give it to me one time free, I will be a dedicated customer. That way again, I can recommend you to other people because there was one time you hooked me up. A motherfucking hookup. Nope. Been going there for going on six, seven years. 
Still ain't got no freebies, still ain't got the hookup, which is some bull. Now, I will say the times where apparently you're supposed to have the hookup, let your friend know. Hey, when are you gonna be at work today? I might slide through to grab something. Probably gonna be there at 4 o'clock, just let me know. Cool, I'll probably be there around 4.30. You go to the job, 4.30, you go to the front, you give him that look like, hey bruh, I'm here for my free stuff. He's behind the counter and he goes, so you're sitting there, and you're waiting, you're anticipating, you don't know what it is, it's just free. So you're like, yes, I got something on the inside, whenever I need something to drink, something to eat, I will come here when he's working and I got some. So after all this and done, he finally comes up there, he comes to the counter and he just goes, Uh, bro, what's this? What are you talking about? It's your free food. Bruh, this is a cup of water! A cup of water! Free food. It ain't got no ice in it! I can't help it. Ice costs money. Hey, man. It's your freebie. I got you. I got you. Remember that. All I'm saying is, don't rely too much on hookup because there are times when you think you have it and you don't. There are times you want it, can't get it. And there are times when you have it and it's just not worth having. So all in all, if you're a person who know people, so you got the hookups on like a lot of things, good for you, keep those relationships strong. If you're a person who don't have the hookups, your life really ain't that worse off than the other guy. Now you just gotta like, now you just gotta like obey the rules and you know, no freebies for you. Oh well. So all in all, a hookups worth having? I don't know. I haven't had a good one yet. But anyway, I'm Say Love, aka the Black Mario Bro. If you enjoyed the video, click like. If you enjoyed the overall, click subscribe. But until then, I might use the hookup I got at Pen Express because the girl did say I can get extra meat with my food. A motherfucking hookup. Hey. Honestly, the Chalupas at Taco Bell are really good.